Okay, I'm going to walk you through how to import a data set into R using a Windows based platform. So I'm going to go through and open up uh, R Studio here first. Um, note that when R Studio opens up, um, I'm using a, just a light here, sorry, excuse me for that. Uh, notice that uh, uh, R Studio is going to open up with version 3.6.3. .3. This is a newer version of uh, R Studio. Um, it also opens up, as you'll probably see here, with my um, with our data set for the lab already open since I've been playing around with it. Um, I'm going to close that for now so you can see how I'd import that data set. So just like in a Mac format, I've used import data set here, import from text base, and then I'm going to surf to where I know I have the data set. If you're having trouble following the speed of what I just did to navigate to a uh, data set or to open any of this up, stop the video, pause it, walk back through what I did. So all I did was press that import data set button, surf to where my data set is. I'm grabbing a CSV file, <clears throat> press open. Notice that the columns are already bolded uh, because the heading button is clicked to yes. If it says no, then it will import incorrectly. I want it to import correctly, so uh, I just press yes. And when I hit import, here comes my data set with all the column headers bolded. Note that it called my data set lawn experiment, and I'm gonna rename it data set because that just kind of makes things a little bit easier. Uh, it makes it easier to use the code that I prepared for you in the lab. So in order to do that, what we're gonna do is use data set, we're typing this out, I could uh, call this whatever I want. It could be purple dinosaur, doesn't matter, but it's gonna be simpler if we use data set because it's in the rest of the code. So data set, and then this reverse arrow says store. So when you think about R code, you have to think about it a little bit backwards. It auto prompts me to write lawn experiment. So it had already pulled in my data and called it lawn experiment. Now we're gonna say backwards here, take the data set called lawn experiment and store it in the word data set. Enter and it did that. So now I have something called data set that has all of this data, these data in it. Okay, the next thing I had you do was uh, run uh, a series of uh, commands to summarize the data. I'm gonna skip to the point at which I had you load a package. Uh, so if you look in the lower right hand corner of the screen, packages is one of the tabs you can click on. And in that tab, there's an install R packages option. When you do this, you'll get a prompt window that allows you to type in the name of a package that you're interested in. In this case, DESC tools is what we're looking for and it actually shows up in the auto dropdown. So I can select it. Once I've done that, I have installed dependencies clicked so that if there are any other packages that are needed to run that, they'll install automatically. When I press install, desk tools is installed. Note that in the lab, I ask you to install this package, um, but installing it doesn't get the package to run. You have to use the library command to run the package. So it's not just installing it, it's running it. So I've installed it, and now I'm gonna paste here the command I just copied, library desk tools. Now I can actually use desk tools. So now I'm gonna go down to the next command here, desk soil moisture, and all that junk there. I'm gonna copy that. We'll go through what that's doing in a second. I'm gonna paste it here at the carrot. Again, if any of this went too fast, slow this video down, walk through it slowly. Okay, I hit enter and it did this for me. It ran summary statistics, it created a graph, it did all sorts of stuff. So let's walk through what this code is actually saying. DESC is a command for the desk tools package and it says describe. Describe what's inside these parentheses. Describe the data set for soil moisture 
that soil moisture exactly as labeled in the column here. The tilde symbol here says by, and then site type is a category. So I'm saying describe soil moisture by site type, comma. Plot it is a function that creates these plots, and we're saying true, do that, please, create the plot. Then it asks data equals, and we say data set. That's where you'll find the data. So again, it's kind of backwards. It said, take the data set, you're gonna plot it, and what I want you to plot and analyze is soil moisture by site type. Let me describe that, so that's what that did. Okay, hopefully that um, took some of the mystery out of our studio. Go slow with this program. Uh, go command by command and uh, copy and paste when you can. It's really important that everything is exactly as uh, the, the, the text uh, is exactly right. So no extra uppercases or spaces or punctuation where there shouldn't be. All right.